Okay, I'm back. Gotta make a fire. Um, apologize, I had to take a break and check on my daughter. She wasn't going to sleep like she was supposed to. But that is okay. Uh, let's use some of this reclaimed wood. I'm actually going to use some of this accelerant. Make sure this goes right. You know, this also starts a lot faster. So that fire will last 31 minutes. It should be enough to get our buns warm and on the road. You know what? Gosh darn it. I, uh, got us all got a drink while I was up, and I meant to bring it back to my desk here while we play. And I left it when I was checking on my daughter, so I'll be right back again. And we're back again! Okay, now I'm really back. It's getting warm here. I got my Stein of Pink Lemonade. It's literally my uh, Alliance World of Warcraft Stein. Made out of pewter, I believe. It's got a leather wrapped uh, Alliance sigil on it. And navel blue. Uh, literally filled with pink lemonade. Can't make this stuff up. So, I'm obviously not getting warm fast enough. So, I'm going to add additional fuel. That wind is whipping up there. Out there, I should say. Thank God I'm in this cave. Wind chill is also a factor, I do remember that. I can also um, use one of my sticks and grab a torch while I'm at it to light my way and provide some means of warmth. I want to make sure I get warmed up first. Glad I uh, grabbed extra fuel was out there by breaking down the boxes because that has come sure and handy. I assume we'd be dead at this point were I not to done that. I see my medical condition in the left corner. I believe that's medical. I keep trying to point down to point at it, and that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works, Wesley. My name is Wesley, by the way. Codename Wreck. But I see that box down there with the friendly cross sign is in red, which I would assume is bad. We don't want that. Bit tab, I can get more detail on what's going on. So my hunger and water situation is going down. I can also see it's midday. Oops. I really don't have any more food. I ate the MRE. Probably shouldn't have ate it that soon. Um, I have more water. I'm gonna go ahead and drink that. We go. About half a gallon. Potable water. Which doesn't mean a whole lot other than you're not likely to get sick or infected. Uh, you can grab potable water from your toilet right now. Just like you've always wanted. Okay, I think we're going to have to put another log on. One of these sticks from that crate. Keep it burning. Uh, 
Uh, J, yeah, journal. Oh, I'm supposed to make a fire that's gonna last nine hours. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. Let's see what I can get to. One hour, 1.4, can add a bunch of sticks. Three hours. A lot of heat. Forty-one degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty balmy. Ah, you might also notice Fahrenheit. Even though we're in Canada, I switched it to Imperial system. I'm sorry. I'm not doing metric. Can't be done. Wouldn't be prudent. All right, I'm gonna go check for more wood sources. I think it's funny. I just told you I grabbed a extra wood and we're in good shape when in reality we are nowhere near Cause they want a nine hour fire I guess the last of the night let's grab a bunch of these sticks and wood looks like the wind brought down a lot more branches That's a good piece. Need to find some place to escape this cold. Oh yeah, it is very cold out here. We need to get back in there and warm our buns. I'm noticing I'm hearing that clang sound, so I'm literally carrying a fire with it. It's kinda cool. Alright, this will help. Boom. We got fire going now. You wouldn't believe. You can just call this Miami Beach in here. Producing a lot of light too. Gonna warm us on up. Doing good. Doing great. Just sit down and warm your tush. So, hope you guys had a good day today. Mine was pretty average. Nothing really gained, nothing lost. As soon as I get reasonably warm, I'm going to head out again and grab more fuel. So this will start burning through pretty quick, and we want to get to that uh, nine hour window, so we got three hours of fuel yet to grab. Alright, here we go. So just imagine this is real life, and. What was that? I think that was my stomach, but that sounded really weird. It would make sense. I'm hungry. But just imagine this guy, you know, no winter coat, just sweater, dashing in and out of a cave for firewood in a panic. It's not too implausible a scenario, just a little comical to think about and watch. Can't feel my feet. This guy is a crybaby. Okay. Can't sprint. Don't have the energy. All right, more fuel. We are just not getting there, folks. This may be it right here. I don't get some more fuel pretty quick. Burn through a lot faster, almost than I can add to it. We'll see. The fire's really hot now, so. That helps me get warm back up to where I can go out and run, grab some more. It's dark now. Alright, try again. I need some good pieces. The 
that. Let's break that down. Come on, I need something to push me over the edge. Birch bark really isn't it. Can't feel my hands. Well, you're gonna have to deal with it, buddy, because we gotta get this. I ain't going back out here. Alright, let's grab this stick and head back. That better be it. It's gonna be tight, but maybe that'll push us over. <laughs> Being out here when it's dark. Oh, we're close. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Everyone's good. We did it. Warm up before I freeze to death. Oh, we did it. Mission accomplished. Nice and toasty. What does the journal say? That should last me through the night. Okay. As long as you're confident. I'm so tired. Day four. I thought that storm would never end. Now I'm hungry. I need to find some food. That MRE has completely worn off at this point. A murder of crows circling. Oh, carcass. I thought they were wanting me to go hunt. Uh, I almost said squirrel. Crows. That was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. I finally can get a little further out. It's only a three combination lock. You should be able to wheel through it. Okay, what's this? Oh, backstory. Marvelous. Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. Whoa. Well, slow down, Maureen. What are you talking about? This is a nice plane. I'd love to have that plane. Looks like it's it okay. uses a radial engine. I've got it from here. Uh. Hello, Will. What are I'm you doing? I'm back here? for the baby. It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no, I have no, to run marijuana. not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. He looks sick, his nose is so red. I'm still a doctor. Drunk. Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. This is like... Someone there is very... Some sick. Canadian... Spin-off to Casablanca or something. I know. But I have to get there. Still trying <clears throat> to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't really come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait, questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? 
Are you going to help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? You said not What's too many case, questions, not no, no questions. Questions. Changing Look, the deal. The weather out there is bad. Bad. Weather's well, always bad. Worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. And then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost. All because you walked in here and asked me to? And you didn't even bring any more caribou. Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. Yeah, you Mackenzie. Don't know anything. You're an you don't idiot. Think I feel it too. Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Plot Throw your device. Bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to crash in that weather. And in fact, I know you crashed in that weather. Idiot. Probably could wait till morning, I'm sure. No, we're saving the world. Was in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she has Can I open her pack? Because I feel like there's something useful in there. No. Well, let's take some of this stuff. Oh, thank God, a coat. This is a game changer, everybody. An actual winter coat. Uh, I don't have to repair it first. Oh. Eat trees. I can't wear it yet. Oh. Hatching for that. Let's get some sticks. Yeah. This carcass could save my life. This doesn't look too good, but what choice do I have? Oh, that would be an absolute pain to. I don't know if I would survive doing that. I'm just going to take one pound. This would be an absolute pain with the scrap metal shard. And let's do another couple pounds of venison. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm smart enough not to eat raw meat, but thanks for the tutorial advice. So, it's cold enough. I don't really have to worry about this rot, and it'll be more critters coming in, feasting on my good meat. But, uh, I really don't want to freeze to death with so limited calories out there trying to butcher an entire deer with a sharpened piece of scrap metal. Said it would take an hour, so I'll let you guys be the judge on that one if it is a waste of time or not. Oh, my fire's still going. I thought that went out during the night. I uh, got another hour. It's good, so let's make some food. Game me a venison. Good feast. this stuff on 
Uh, inventory. And I am going to chow on down. Get some good calories in me. Drink some more water. Then I'm going to go back for that rest of that deer. Get some more wood while I'm at it. Especially since that fire is not going to burn out now. And that's nothing, I guess. Piece of wreckage. But yeah, this is a good example. A lot of these skills are true to life. Now they're obviously diminished in the scope of interest and gameplay. But these are kind of the steps you would take if you're out in the middle of the winter. Don't really have anything to your name. I would argue, other than the cold and the lack of food, at least as far as water goes, your chances of survival are better in winter than it is in summer because you can always melt snow but the other factors make it worse in all reality alright let's get this thing fully butchered and on the grill thank you magic deer I will always remember you. There is a disclaimer um, at launch of this game that they don't condone or take pleasure. Something to that effect of the killing of wildlife. But I'm here to tell you, I mean, at the end of the day, they're animals, you're a person. If you need to kill them, you do to survive. That's just the way things work. There is absolutely nothing wrong with hunting. I'm sorry if you're a vegan and that offends you, I'm just telling you how it is. You can also, um, once you get it hot enough, looks like boil water, which is much more sim simple than these tablets. Um, and realistic, you can boil water, purify it. Tastes like crap, but again, you do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat some more. And then I'll probably boil some water. While we got it. Couple more sticks. Thing you see, um, basically, as long as you got fire, your options are pretty good. You lose that, you're kind of on your own. Out of the ravine. Okay. So I'm going to warm up, and actually, I am warmed up. Perfect. So we're out of here. I will always miss our first home. But we got to go. So here we go on out of the ravine on our journey. How do I climb? Do I follow this path? Ah. Uh, that was not a correct wisdom. Oh, crap. I might have... 
screwed things up and good. I don't know what we do now. I can try and get around, but I don't think this is the right way. I'm positive this is not the right way. Uh, well, this is likely to be the end of our little tail. I can't seem to jump. So I can't parkour my way back up. <sighs> well, folks, I'm sorry. I done messed up. It was fun. My wife's about to hate me. She hates Long Falls. It's so long. I love you guys. Goodbye. Yeah.